Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. Let's see what's the energy surrounding you guys today, okay? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your comments, all your shares. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy, okay guys? Please remember, only take what's yours, leave everything else behind. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? All right, my loves, I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Let's see what's the energy surrounding you guys today. Learn from the past and bring your ideas to life. So for a lot of you guys right now, present moment, there could be something from your past that is resurfacing. You you could be trying to figure out there's an energy here of trying to figure out if something is a lesson if something is a blessing one way or the other your spirit guides are saying with this elephant spirit you could have been born on i have august 25th your spirit guides are saying for you guys to learn from the past itself a lot of you guys right now present moment you could be placed in a situation to determine if you have learned a very valuable lesson from the past itself something from your past could truly be resurfacing i also have august 24th electric ill spirit bring your ideas to life a lot of you guys right now present moment there could be ideas that's floating around up there and your spirit guides are wanting you to bring that to life i have september 14th chameleon spirit act as if I instantly got it's like whatever life that you want to live your spirit guides are saying for you to act as if you already lived that life whatever life whatever life whatever lifestyle whatever it is that you're trying to manifest into your life your spirit guides are wanting to live life accordingly live life like as if you already have manifested it it's already there that's a nice energy act as if fitting in act as if you belong in the lifestyle that you yourself want for yourself then we have lion spirit be generous of spirit it's a nice strong energy very nice very strong energy your spirit guys wants you guys to be strong your spirit guys wants you guys to co-create with spirit there's a lot of manifestations here there's a lot of being grounded there's a very grounded energy spending time i don't know why it's like i'm getting like your spirit guides and the divine wanting you to spend time in solitude with the the divine itself co-creating with spirit i feel like a lot of you guys need to spend a lot of time right now meditating and praying spending a lot of time in silence in solitude listening to the universe listening to the divine I feel like a lot of you guys right now, present moment, in your quiet moments, there could truly, truly be, be uh, downloads coming through for you. Truly, truly downloads could be coming through for you. Yeah. What's this from, what's this from my Virgo's past that my Virgo's learning from? Show me. Bump on a log. Lazing around, loafing, false start, non-responsive and disinterest. Hmm, for some of you guys, there's someone here from your past. This is an energy of someone just kind of loafing all for you. For some of you guys with this false start, this is an energy of someone being in and out of your life. For some of you guys, there's someone here like, I feel like for some of you guys, the past that you're learning from is a person because all I'm looking at is this bear kind of lazing around. For some of you guys, there could be somebody in your energy right now, present moment, where they, they themselves, they don't apply themselves to the connection. They themselves, they don't actually bring anything to the table. They themselves, they don't even try. There's a lazing energy, a bump on the log. For some of you guys, you're dealing with somebody here where you're doing all the work. 
in whatever aspect of life this is, it's like you're doing all the work. Your spirit guides are wanting you guys to learn from the past. Stand up for yourself. See how greatly rich and abundant you yourself, you are. I feel like you have this elephant spirit. I'm hearing solid as a rock. Like you're a solid individual. And for, for some of you guys, you could be dealing with people in your energy, a person, or there could be there could be one person, a group of individuals. They're not as solid as you are. They're not as real as you are. And I feel like this is like somebody here just kind of feeding off of your energy. Real big energy. Show me this electric eel spirit. What ideas? What are these ideas? My if that ain't grits, if that ain't the truth, grits ain't groceries. Your spirit guides are wanting you to believe in yourself, trust in yourself, watch for the signs, listen to your intuitions, and it says the real deal. You are the real deal. Your spirit guides want you guys to know that you are the real deal. As I saw 555 five, five on the clock, your spirit guides are wanting you to bring your ideas to life. You believe in yourself, trust in yourself, watch for the signs and the synchronicities, listen to your intuitions, and know that you are the real deal. The ideas, your thoughts, there's so many things that you can bring to life. This is about you not limiting yourself, not limiting yourself only to a thought. This is about manifesting those ideas, manifesting those thoughts. Bring, your, your ideas are not just a thought. Bring those ideas to life. Your spirit guides are calling somebody out this morning to bring your ideas to life. Show me this chameleon spirit. Show me this chameleon spirit. Wow. Swinging on the front porch. Act as if the good times are here. Yeah. Act as if, for some of you guys, there's somebody here in your energy. This person is extremely fake. This person is talking about you. This person is a freeloader, an opportunist. This person is a nuisance. This person is a nuisance. Look at that. This, per this person is acting as if they're your friend or they want good for you or they mean well for you. I don't know why this energy is coming through this morning. But it says swinging on the front porch. Act as if the good times are here. Cozy feelings. Slow down. Be in nature and be thankful. I feel like whatever life you're trying to manifest for yourself, your spirit guides are wanting you to act as if it's here right now, present moment. I feel like your spirit guides want you guys to act as if it's here now presently with you yeah some of you some of you guys could have been born on september 14th some of you guys could be 37 who is this lazy individual that's in my virgo's energy spirit who is this lazy individual that's in my virgo's energy a thief somebody that's just somebody that's just there to steal from you and this could be your energy, this could be your time, this could be something of value to you. Whatever is of value to you, look at that, a thief. For some of you guys, you have uh, you have somebody in your mix. Right now, present moment, you could have been born on August 24th. Double confirmation of August 24th. This person is a thief. This person, and when I say that, I'm talking about like, there's something of value to you could be your time could be your body could be your money could be your energy i feel like for some of you guys there's somebody here that it could be somebody from your past or this is a lesson that's resurfacing that you should have learned from a past mistake is what i'm getting and for some of you guys you're dealing with somebody here that's just there to to steal from you and it could definitely be your time and your energy your body your money whatever is of value to you your spirit your time is very very valuable very very valuable what are these ideas my virgos bring into life spirit what are these ideas toil and labor wow there's a business that you guys can create you could be 38 years old for some of you guys you could have been born in 83 toil and labor there's something here that you guys, there's ideas. This is a business that you guys can start, a job that you guys could want. This is something that you yourself, this is you starting something from the ground up. It's going to take a lot of hard work. 
It's definitely going to take a lot of hard work, but this is a business. This is your baby. This is something that you're birthing into life. Real nice energy. That's a real nice energy. What is these good times that's coming through for my Virgos? What is this good time? Courtship. So you have a relationship that's coming through. You have a relationship, as I see 10, 10 on the clock. Some of you guys, you have a relationship that's coming through. You could have been born on September 4th. You're going to be dating someone, somebody here. I feel like this is a, I feel like this is going to be somebody that's going to start out as a friend. Yeah. Occupation for some of you guys, you have a new job that's coming through. For some of you guys, you have a new job that's coming through. Or for some of you guys, you could be start, you could start dating somebody that you work with. Yeah. Or somebody that's in your community. Some of you guys could be moving to a new neighborhood. Some of you guys could be moving to a new neighborhood. I'm getting like a dream neighborhood. A dream neighborhood some of you guys could be moving to. Yeah. Real nice energy. Real nice energy. Who is this freeloader spirit for my Virgos? Who is this freeloader? Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. Somebody here that somebody here that wants to date you. Somebody here that likes you. Strong Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. Six of Wands. Somebody that sees your vow. This is somebody that this is an opportunist. Yeah, that's why that's there. For some of you guys, you have somebody in your mix. Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. This person could be slightly younger than you. This could be a friend. This could be a lover. This person does have feelings for you, but this person is an opportunist. Why do I feel like for somebody here, it's like you're dealing with somebody that can kind of bring you down way much more than they can actually bring you up. Uh, that energy is coming through strong. For some of you guys, this person sees, yeah, you're the queen of wands. This is somebody here that sees with that six of wands, how successful you are. This is somebody here that's, this could be somebody that's watching you, that's, that has watched you from afar, or they've had their eyes on you for some time. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. For some of you guys, you could definitely be um, business owners. This person finds you to be extremely worldly, well-dressed. This person sees you as a go-getter. This is somebody that finds you to be very spunky. Very, very spunky. This person likes you. They like something about you. But they, but it's telling me that this person is a freeloader, an opportunist. They, they, they look for people that are successful. They look to see what other people have. Yeah. How else would my Virgo know who this person is, Spirit? How else? Oh, Four of Cups. This is somebody that you're not sure about. Three of Swords could definitely be somebody that's already cut you once before. For some of you guys, this could be something third party. But this could be somebody here that has already broken your heart already. And the offer they have for you, you question it yourself. I picked up that questioning energy yesterday evening. I did pick up that questioning energy yesterday evening. Yeah. Who's this thief? Who's this thief for my Virgos? The chariot, somebody that's not gonna somebody that's not gonna win. See that chariot came out in the reverse. This is this is somebody that you're being protected from. Strong cancer energy, the will of fortune. See that karma? This is somebody here that's gonna be getting some bad karma for how they have how how they have for some of you guys this with that could be cancer and we also have Sagittarius energy. This is a faded event. For some of you guys, this is some of you guys could actually be being tested right now, present moment, to see if you've learned a lesson. Some of you guys right now, present moment, there could be a karmic theme in your life right now, present moment, to see if you have learned a lesson. You there, you could be faced with some type of obstacle. And I feel like this is like your spirit guide stepping in. This is like your spirit guide stepping in. Yeah. Show me. Show me spirit. Six of Cups. A lot of, see, that's something past. That's past life. Death, Scorpio energy. So this is this is something that is that, that's resurfacing. 
This is something that has already died once before. And this is something that's resurfacing, but it's to transform your life. For some of you guys, right now, present moment, you're being tested on a very karmic level. Yeah. But there's an ending that's happening. You're, you're being protected. You're being blocked from something. This is past life connection. This is nostalgia. There's something that's revisiting right now, present moment, which I've been picking up on that energy. But look, this is coming to an end. But we are, Mercury is going, Mercury is coming out of retrograde. So I feel like this is like the residual of that energy. But now it's it's ending. Whatever karmic debt, whatever, whatever karmic that you had, to, some any karmic situation that you had to deal with, I feel like this is you dealing with it. But I also feel like you've been protected I'm definitely getting like you've been protected. There's somebody here that may have come back from your past itself. Or there's something from your past that revisited because you had to deal with it. There's a strong dealing with it energy. Yeah. What's coming towards my Virgos today, spirit? What's coming towards my Virgos today? Ten of Wands with the Emperor talks about emotional baggage walking away. The Emperor Aries energy justice. Hmm. For some of you guys, you could be dealing with some type of legal matter where you're going to be getting justice. Something that's going to be something finalized. Strong Libra Aries energy for some of you guys. Your boss could be seeing a value in you. With that emperor, this could be a boss or a father figure with justice. This is making a righteous choice. For some of you guys, you could be definitely dealing with a legal matter. Something that has been very much so, uh, there's been a lot of baggage. I do see you guys making a choice here. A very justified choice. Something that you could have been at crossroads with. Eight of Wands talks about communication. Nine of Cups, ooh, and the Empress with the Magician, wow, with the Magician, strong Taurus energy, I see communication coming in for you, something that you've manifested, there's a win, there's a win that's coming in for you guys, there is a win, this could be at work, and, and or this could be within your personal life, but I do see you guys, there is a win here that's coming through real nice energy it's definitely something that you've manifested gemini virgo energy yeah we have asters elegance and patience nature does not hurry yet everything is accomplished i feel like this has been slow and steady progress for you guys i definitely feel like this has been slow and steady progress for you guys getting to the lifestyle that you want getting to the position that you want there's a position for some of you guys at your work or your career or your business that you wanted this is something that you've been manifesting elegance and patience you guys have been extremely patient extremely diligent and you've done it with grace and style there's a lot of grace and style in this energy yeah that's nice energy all right, my loves, that is what I have for you guys. If any of this resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Until next time. Bye, guys.